The normal procedure was that the Haganah would begin by a short barrage of either light mortars or three-inch mortars. Most of these villages were within Titus orchard, so we could come closer by going between the trees of the orchards. As we deployed the width of the front with my platoon say, in front of the houses, we gave a one minute coordinated shot of whatever weapons we had and stormed. You could see people lived there until a few minutes ago. They ran into the orchards and hid there, waited to see what happens. And if they tried to come back, they were shot at. I was lying in an ambush. It, these were Palestinians who came back to the fields to reap the, the harvest. And one of them was going in the front to make sure that the road is open. And I was lying across the road with a revolver in my hand. And uh, he, as he approached me, I stood up, and he was a meter from me. He was so frightened that he embraced me. Then I became frightened. I didn't know what he has, a weapon, a, a revolver, a, a knife. So I shot at him. And that's a very strange experience. He fell to the ground from my hand. So I was killing a man, point blank, just right there. Uh, I didn't blame myself. I didn't, I didn't have any, any feeling of remorse because I had no chance. I, I had to do it. It was, it was only natural that I, I should have reacted the way I reacted. So that's on the other hand. But I looked down and said, I said, poor fellow, you've got it. 